In today's world, the significance of nuclear deterrence is more important than ever, and the LGM-30 Minuteman III Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, is a critical component of the United States nuclear weapons arsenal. With its long-range strike capability, the Minuteman III missile system is a powerful tool in maintaining the stability and security of the United States. In this video, we will delve into the details of the Minuteman III missile system, including its history, capabilities, and role for the United States. Please join us for this exploration. One, history and development. The LGM-30 Minuteman missile is a type of intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, launched from land-based silos in the United States. As of 2020, the LGM-30G Minuteman III missile is the only type of missile launched from U.S. ground-based silos, and it represents one-third of the U.S. nuclear triad, along with Trident ballistic missiles launched from submarines and nuclear weapons carried by long-range strategic bombers. The history and development of the LGM-30 Minuteman ICBM began in the 1950s and 1960s during the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. At that time, the U.S. needed a powerful missile system to meet their military objectives and also to reduce the fear of the American people regarding the Soviet threat. To meet this requirement, the Minuteman program was initiated and developed by the U.S. Air Force. During the development process, Minuteman underwent many technological improvements. First, the Minuteman program was designed to use solid propellant rockets, which helped to reduce costs and increase the system's rapid response capability. Later versions of the Minuteman were designed to use liquid propellant rockets, which increased the range and accuracy of the system. Other improvements included the use of computers and electronic technology to improve the accuracy and reliability of the system. These improvements increased the capability of Minuteman against military targets and also reduced the concern of the people about the threat from competing countries. Today, the LGM-30 Minuteman ICBM remains an essential part of the U.S. nuclear arsenal. 2. Capabilities and Specifications of the LGM-30 Minuteman ICBM The Minuteman III LGM-30G is a ballistic missile in the U.S. Air Force's Minuteman missile system. It was developed starting in 1966 and deployed starting in 1970. The Minuteman III has many upgrades from its predecessor, especially in the missile's final stage and reentry system, RS. The final stage is upgraded with a liquid fuel rocket engine, providing better control than the old engine with four nozzles. The performance upgrades of the Minuteman III have proved flexibility in deploying the reentry vehicle and increased survivability against nuclear attacks, as well as increasing payload capacity. The Minuteman III has prominent features, including being equipped with three W62 Mk12 nuclear warheads, with a total explosive yield of only 170 kilotons of TNT, instead of the W56 warhead with a yield of 1.2 megatons. It was also the first ICBM equipped with MIRV warheads containing multiple submissions, allowing it to attack three different targets. The engine of the Minuteman III is improved with thrust vector control nozzles installed on the third stage of the missile to improve its range. Additionally, the missile is equipped with a supplementary liquid-fueled engine rocket used to change the trajectory slightly, PSRE, and an inertial guidance system to prevent vibration. To ensure safety and accuracy, the Minute 3 is operated by missile officers and controlled by the D-37D computer. Minuteman 3 missiles are deployed at F.E. Warren Air Force Base, Wyoming, Mino Air Force Base, North Dakota, and Malmstrom Air Force Base, Montana. However, the Minuteman 3 is not only used to attack targets on Earth. U.S. military officials have also considered using the missile to launch satellites into space. Unused Minuteman 3 missiles can be stored in silos and launched within a short period. However, with variable payloads and quick replacement capabilities, they can still be used as a platform for the Minotaur rocket, a product of Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems, formerly Orbital Sciences. In addition, the Minuteman 3 plays an important role in the U.S. Emergency Rocket Communication System. ERCS. 
In case the command authority is destroyed, the ERCS system allows for launching emergency command and control missiles. A command missile named Blue Scout with a payload of radio transmission signals is launched high to send signals to missile units in view. ERCS transmitters are subsequently placed on the Minuteman II, LGM-30F, ICBMs, and managed by the 510th Missile Squadron based at Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri. 3. The Role of LGM-30 Minuteman ICBM in U.S. National Security LGM-30 Minuteman ICBM is an indispensable part of the U.S. nuclear attack system. With its long-range attack capability and multiple independent re-entry vehicles, the Minuteman missile has demonstrated its strategic importance in maintaining national stability and security. The Minuteman missile is considered a highly secure nuclear attack weapon, with the ability to respond quickly to emergencies. In addition, the Minuteman missile is protected by a missile defense system and sensors to prevent attacks against it. The role of the Minuteman missile is not limited to nuclear deterrence, but also has an impact on the strategic importance of the U.S. in international relations. It helps the U.S. enhance its military strength and creates a clear impact on its adversaries. This helps to significantly reduce the likelihood of conflict and ensures national security and stability. 4. The Future of LGM-30 Minuteman ICBM The future of LGM-30 Minuteman ICBM is being accelerated by the plan to upgrade and develop the new ground-based strategic deterrent, GBSD system. GBSD is designed to completely replace the current Minuteman missiles in the U.S. nuclear arsenal. With technological improvements and quick response capabilities, GBSD is expected to help the U.S. maintain national stability and security in the future. However, deploying GBSD also poses some challenges for the U.S. The cost of developing and deploying GBSD is expected to reach hundreds of billions of dollars requiring the U.S. to invest a large amount of money in the project. In addition, developing GBSD also requires the U.S. to face competition from other countries in the missile field. However, developing GBSD also provides an opportunity for the U.S. to improve its nuclear deterrent system and enhance its military strength. This helps to ensure national security and stability, as well as strengthen the role of the U.S. in international relations. Developing GBSD also helps the U.S. maintain its military advantage over adversaries such as Russia and China. And that's all the content for today. What do you think about this story? Please leave your thoughts in the video comments. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Now, goodbye, and see you again soon.